Hi there. This is a short video on how to successfully and safely attach a foam shoulder rest to a violin. Foam shoulder rests are good to use with beginners. I teach large classes and so they are inexpensive and the nice thing about having them is that if they break they're easily replaceable uh, and for a beginner it provides uh, more support than just having the violin in, uh, by itself where it can slide and it will be more difficult for a beginner to develop a proper playing position so when you teach as many students as I do it's it's convenient to have something that allows the violin to more or less be in the right place to help the student develop uh, proper posture and eventually proper technique. So beyond the foam shoulder rest, the molded hard plastic shoulder rest is the next step up. And so this is a good starting point. And eventually I do move students off of the foam and into a molded shoulder rest. But on this video, I'd like to show you how to use rubber bands to basically keep the shoulder rest in place so it's not moving around or sliding around. So with that intro, let's begin. Start with two rubber bands. Thicker is usually better, but these will do. And what you, what, what you basically want to do is tie them together. So place one through the other and then pull it so that you end up with this right here, right? Basically a longer rubber band. Once you have that longer rubber band, we're going to go to our violin. This is my classroom instrument here. And you're going to hook one end of it on the chin rest like this. So I'm going to hook one end on the chin rest here. And then I'm going to turn the violin around and I'm going to go diagonally across to this corner where the middle bout meets the lower bout. And I'm going to hook my rubber band right on that corner there, or even higher if you want it a little bit tighter. Once we have this in place, now we are ready to take our foam shoulder rest and put it on. So whether you cut it like I do, or you buy them, they share one thing in common, is that you're going to have a thin end and you're going to have a thick end. And there's a reason for that. Um, the reason is that the thick end usually is what's helping the violin uh, get a, uh, get the angle more correct. But you will see that once we do it in practice. So, how do we do it? Let's take the thin end and we're going to line it up with the chin rest. And one easy way to remember that is, this is what I tell my students, the thin part goes under the chin rest. Or semi-rhyming, the thin goes under the chin. So if you just remember the thin part of the shoulder rest going under the chin rest, then you're placing it correctly. From the back view, you want it to basically be across this way. You don't want it this way. You don't want it this way. Certainly don't want it this way. You want it directly across the bottom like this. So once you have positioned thin under the chin and the violin across, all you really have to do now is lift the rubber band and slide the shoulder rest into that location, that correct spot. And with the rubber band in place now, it's super convenient. It just stays right there. And now you can play. The violin is going to be better supported for you to hold it and to develop your basic violin hold, right? And your basic, um, your starting playing position and you're you're for the most part in in the right place you know and so now you understand why the thick side has to go down here towards your chest it's because it's giving the violin a little bit of height and an angle so that it's in a better place for your left hand to to play right and eventually for your bow once you start doing that so I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions um, go ahead and ask me Drop a comment, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, any questions you have, let me know, and I can make any video that you need to help answer your questions. Bye!